started playing the piano, um, and I just I got into it. I within a year I was I, don't know, I was just playing. I was in situations I shouldn't be in, like playing for musicals and all kinds of stuff. You know, at like 13, 14, um, just because I loved it and I played every day, all day, pretty much. And I think early on it was um, it was really kind of my outlet to. Uh, get out of like life situations, you know. So if I was stressed or you know things were going bad, I'd just go and and you know play the piano. Um, uh, about a year and a half ago, um, met up with uh, Brock and Zach. Brock had been trying to get me to play music with him for like a year and a half, and I had excuses and I was busy. You know? I was, but uh, so yeah, we started keeping cars. Didn't really know what it was going to be, um, but. We didn't have plans necessarily, we just wanted to play music. Yeah. The music scene in Bloomington is actually pretty awesome. Um, I mean, I haven't, I'm from northwest Indiana, um, so I know the Chicago scene a little bit. I don't know, I mean, obviously it's non existent in northwest Indiana. Um, uh, you know, I, uh, Michigan City, Valpo, that's kind of you know, where I'm from, you know. Um, and, and there's not much happening. Um, it seems like people don't really even, like, care about music. I don't want to say that it's strong, but um, it's just not as much, you know. But you have Bloomington, which is this small Midwest college town, but, like, for some reason, all the right things come together to where, you know, there can be something like this. Um, so the music seems very, like, underground and I remember being being young and like thinking about like the underground music scene like what is that it seems like shady and like um, but now that I'm like in it and playing every weekend and it's it's pretty it's awesome you know and it's like um, it's so great because you know we can play a venue in town like the Bishop which is great you know and um, we've played some great shows there like open for some great bands and we, we love that but there's not really anything else like a Friday night in a basement with like a hundred or two hundred people at times, you know, just like packed together around you, like, um, you know, moving with you and just really, you know, enjoying, enjoying it. And, you know, because it's people, I don't know, people want to be close, you know, and be in that environment. And, and I love, I love that because it's just like we're on the same level, you know. We played was like a couple weeks ago, Art After Dark, and I was at the um, Indiana University Art Museum. And it was cool. The building, like, it's all, you know, angles. There's no, no, like, Symmetry and there's no straight lines basically. Straight lines are no like right angles. Right angles thank you. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can cut that out, making sound intelligent. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so there, there are no right angles, so it's it's all like you know, just kind of like in this cool space that's big. Um, and I don't know if they've ever had music there before. I don't, I don't, not that I know of. Um, but four bands played. You know, we played at um, at seven. So while we were playing, there's another band in another studio playing. Um, and you know our sound, we're always very loud, and so we, it was it was cool because in that space it just it was just like you know uh, more reverb, a bigger space than even just like a hall, you know, um, and so so that was really cool. It was it, there was a very cool vibes because you know a lot of different worlds came together, you know, like the art community, music community, um, and so in that way it was cool. I think the event itself was just kind of like to get. To kind of like let people know about you know what is offered there like with, with art, but also gonna like combine like different mediums you know so you have like maybe your, your just everything that's going on there with music and um, and other things and um, it was cool it was very cool a lot of different um, people came together I know they they made T-shirts with like that had the band's names on them and I was like, really you know just for one night you know and it was, it was very cool it was um, it was put together well and. Um, and I enjoyed playing it. You know, I, I, it's hard to hear in the space because all the sound left us and went to everyone else. You know, um, but it was um, it was very enjoyable. We are moving to Chicago in August, um, so we're going to be in Bloomington for the next couple months. Until then, um, it's the first time this will be said. We're changing our name. Oh, yeah. Basically, uh, <laughs> we're thinking. Um, yeah, exclusive information. We're thinking, uh, I don't know, something. We need something that kind of. Now that we've we've changed and we've we've gone through this year, year and a half of, of whatever. Like, we need something that says more about us, you know, and and really fits what we're doing. Um, 
you know, maybe keeping cars did, you know, last year and we were starting, but it were it's different now. It's very different. Um, and we're we're pursuing this, you know, we're moving to Chicago. We're all gonna get jobs. I'm I'm doing all kinds of other things with music and and now I'm trying to pursue it but, but our main goal is for all of us to be able to, to play music and support ourselves playing music. Um, and so, you know, we hope that keeping cars or whatever we're called uh, in the future will be um, you know, we'll facilitate that, we'll allow us to do that.